Let's take a look at this problem taken from the International Mathematical Olympia 2012. It says, let n be an integer that is at least 3, and let a2, a3 up to an be positive real numbers, such that their product is 1. Prove that 1 plus a2 whole squared times 1 plus a3 whole cubed up to 1 plus an all to the power n is greater than n to the n. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is not a typical inequality problem because most inequality problems are about symmetric polynomials, which is that for variables of this kind, say a2, a3, an, these kind of variables, even we swap the positions, the value of the left hand side is the whole thing, the left hand side, the entire left hand side uh, should be uh, is still the same. Then in those kind of situations, we can um, bring in some of the very uh, powerful machines like uh, Merhead inequality, uh, Schur's inequality, which is uh, very useful uh, uh, in dealing with uh, symmetric polynomials. But in this case, if we swap a2, a3, or say a2 and an, then the whole thing would be completely uh, different. So we need to come up with some other um, kind of a cleverer ideas. Uh, speaking of clever ideas, it's usually um, using some very simple tools in a very clever way. Simple tools means uh, AMGM, which is that uh, the arithmetic mean uh, of a certain uh, of n numbers uh, is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean of those n numbers. Or, uh, say, Cauchy Schwarz, these two are the most elementary uh, inequalities that we are, that we use when we solve these uh, prove these kind of um, uh, statements. So we keep that in mind. And the next in the next point is that we have to make use of the fact that the product of those variables a two up to a n are uh, the product is equal to one. And the special thing is the indices of those variables are uh, arranged according to um, the power that it falls under, which is that a2, we're supposed to square the a2, we're supposed to uh, cube the a3, and we're supp supposed to bring a n to the power n. So we actually only have n minus 1 uh, variables. Now to make use of um, this product, we need to uh, kind of change the degree of the variables. Now, for a2, we are going to have degree 2. For a3, we are going to have degree 3. And uh, similarly, for a n, we are going to have degree n. So the best way to um, um, adjust the powers, adjust, adjust the degrees um, very flexibly is to use the AMGM. So we try to make use of the AMGM to um, adjust the powers. Now, we call the AMGM inequality is that uh, for n numbers, if I do the arithmetic mean, then it must be uh, greater than or equal to the nth root of the product. Now, take the first part as an example, 1 plus a2. Now, we want to have uh, a2 to a part, uh, degree only 1, but not 2 in, the, uh, in this original situation. So, we need to make this uh, blue block to be greater than or equal to uh, in uh, something in terms of square root a2 so that when we square it we have a2 now this is, this is simple because we can simply say 1 plus a2 over 2 is greater than or equal to square root of a2 now we can make this now what about the others say 1 plus a n the whole thing to the n in this case we aim to have something in greater than or equal to something in terms of the nth root of a n, so that when we bring the whole thing to the power n, we will we can achieve a n. Now, to make to obtain things in terms of the nth root of a n, we need to consider um, arithmetic mean of n numbers. But we only have one plus a n. So here's the trick: is to split the one here, split this one into a number of um, numbers. And in this case, I would go for a minus 1, 
copies of 1 over a minus 1. And then add a n. So altogether, we now have n terms. And this by a n g n will be greater than or equal to the nth root of a n over a minus 1 whole thing to the power a minus 1. So this part is actually still 1 plus a n. And when we bring the whole thing to the power n, we will have things in terms of a n. So um, that seems to be a kind of a feasible idea. So let's uh, write out the whole solution. So note that by a m g m, we can say that for uh, numbers between 2 and n, I'm going to deal with uh, am so 1 plus am is uh, we're going to divide it by m okay and I'm going to split it into uh, m minus 1 copies of 1 over m minus 1 plus am over m This is actually just um, imitating uh, this form, but replacing n by m, because n is actually, uh, uh, we treat it as a fixed number, okay? So for this fraction, it's greater than or equal to the nth root of a m over a minus 1 to the power, whole thing to the power a minus 1. So therefore, 1 plus a m is greater than or equal to m times the nth root of this fraction. And if we bring it to the power m, it's greater than or equal to m to the m times a m over a minus 1 times the whole thing to the power m minus 1. Now, because this holds for all uh, m from 2 to n, therefore, times 1 plus a n to the power n is greater than or equal to now we write out each of the terms it will take some uh, length which is 2 to the 2 times a 2 over 1 to the 1 and then 3 to the 3 times a 3 over 2 to the 2 and then 4 to the 4 times a 4 over 3 to the 3 and then multiply all the way up to n to the n times a n over a minus 1 whole thing to the power a minus 1. And the um, miraculous thing is, these numbers, 2 to the 2, 3 to the 3, 4 to the 4, all the way to a minus 1 to the power a minus 1, will all vanish because they cancel out. And what's left is just n to the n times a 2 times a 3 all the way up to a n, and that's exactly n to the n. So actually, we have already achieved inequality. So the last question is, when does equality hold? Because we have this symbol. We have greater than or equal to, not greater than. And we actually, uh, we are still slightly away, a little bit away from um, the exact statement, which is that uh, we are asked to prove the strict inequality. We are not supposed to just show that it's greater than or equal to. So now we're going to handle the case when equality holds. When, or I should say, equality holds if and only if if and only if all these inequalities are equal, which is that uh, 1 plus a m to the power m is equal to m to the m times a m over a minus 1 to the power a minus 1 for all m between 2 and n. Well, that is equivalent to that is equivalent to this step. This line is also we also have inequality for this line, at the first line of the ANGM inequality. And this can only be achieved when 
a m equals one over m minus one for all m that is between two and n. And so, um, for example, a two is then one, a three is then one over two, and then uh, similarly, a n will be equal to one over a minus one. However, uh, consequently, a two times a three all the way to a n would then be equal to. 1 over 1 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 all the way to 1 over a minus 1 and that is 1 over a minus 1 whole factorial and that cannot be 1 it, in fact it can never be 1 because n is at least 3 we've literally used all the conditions in the problem so therefore equality cannot hold And so that's why we have the strict inequality. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.